All right, so for today, I'm not really going to be teaching you something new. Uh, I just want to be giving you some more tips with Section 6.1. Uh, today for homework, I'm going to be giving you a practice worksheet like we usually do whenever I teach you something new. The next day's a review. But let me just go over a few things here. Today is the 8th, and this is Section 6.1. We'll call it graphing trig functions. Call it day two. And uh, we talked about this before. We know that sine and cosine look like waves. The amplitude is one, and the period is 360. We know that cosecant and secant are alternating parabolas. There is no amplitude. I don't want you to say zero, I want you to say none. And the period for these are 360. I don't like the wave I drew here. That's a prettier wave. And then we know that the graph of tangent and cotangent well, tangent looks like a normal cubic like this. Cotangent's cubic goes the other way. It's like you reflected them over the x-axis. I want you to tell me that the amplitude's none here, and that the period for these is 180 degrees. So what I'll do is I'll graph one of each of these, and I'll show you how to use the period, the amplitude, and uh, the shape to get the graph quickly. First, let's just do the graph y is equal to the cosine of theta. And usually whenever I'm graphing, I go from negative, uh, I go up by 90s. I go between negative 360 and positive 360. Now, cosine of 0 is 0, right? And what's the period of cosine? 360. So that means 360 degrees later, it's going to start repeating. 360 degrees before, it's going to start repeating. We know that cotangent starts going up to 1. And then it's going to come back down. So that's pretty quick to get that graph. If we continue this pattern, it's going to go down to negative 1, 0, 1, 0. So you can see I'm using the shape, the period, and I know it goes between 1 and negative 1, and that's a quick way to graph cosine. Similarly with secant. And the way we figure out what secant is, is we take a look at cosine, and we do the reciprocal. So looking at zero degrees, I know cosine zero, so secant would be one over zero, which is undefined. Now, to draw this quickly, the period of secant is 360, which means 360 degrees later, it's undefined, and 360 degrees before, it's undefined. We also know that secant is alternating parabolas. So when cosine is 1 right here at 90, this would also be 1. 1 over 1 is 1. Then it's got to go undefined and then negative 1 before you get to that 360 asymptote. So eventually you'll learn that the graph looks like this, asymptote, and then negative 1. And then it'll repeat. If we copy this from 0 to 360, we could paste that over here. And the pattern repeats, so you don't want to draw another up here because it's not alternating. That would clearly be down from negative 1 and then up out 1. 
that would be a quick way to draw secant. And then we could finish with tangent. Short lesson today, kind of like me. I'm short, in case you missed that. Not too short. And I like to think, you know, whatever I lack in height, I make up for in strength. So I don't mean to put myself down here. I'm not trying to be self-deprecating. That's what it's called. But uh, anyway. Okay. Tangent. After a certain while, I mean, you're seeing this for the first time here. But after a while, you, you need to know that tangent looks kind of like this in the beginning. It's undefined at negative 90 and at positive 90. This is 180 degrees. So if we literally copy and paste this, that's what the graph of tangent looks like. Every 180 degrees, it repeats. Just imagine copying and pasting it. And that's what I want you to do. For homework, I would like you to please take a look at practice 6-1. Alright, uh, please try all the problems. You know, there's going to be a problem where it asks you, when's tangent 0? When is tangent of theta equal to 0? We'll look at the graph right here. That's the first time it's 0. The way that we said on the last homework we answer this is you put the first answer, and then you always put plus the period. That covers plus 180 is right here, plus 180 is right here, subtract 180, subtract 180. That's how you cover all of the possible answers. K could be like 1, it could be 2, it could be negative 1, negative 2. So just put the period and put K and that would cover all the answers. Please try this for homework. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow.